The Jacksonville Jaguars defeated the Miami Dolphins in London 23-20. This was a early morning kickoff. This game kicked off somewhere around 9. I had woke up a little bit late, so I missed like the first three minutes of the first quarter. But when you look at the Miami Dolphins, man, like this definitely isn't the way that a lot of Dolphins fans envisioned the season going. And there were a lot of people before this season started who were telling me that Miami not only was going to make it to the playoffs this year, but that they were going to win the division. So they lose to Jacksonville. Jacksonville gets their first win of the year. And Miami falls to 1-5 on the year. Now, Brian Flores has to get a lot of criticism for this because there are people who before the year started who were saying that Brian Flores was a top 10 top 15 coach and I was saying no like I still need to see this team make it to the playoffs and everybody was talking about how great a coach he is being able to win with less talent and everybody was saying that now this was the Dolphins team that was going to do a lot of damage and I was telling people I don't really know man don't really see it and you look at Brian Flores, and Dolphins fans are going to say, well, JT, Tua's been injured. The defense has had some injuries. And I understand that. But my thing is, why were people praising Brian Flores before? Well, because he was able to maximize and get the most out of the players who he had on his roster, right? So even if Miami does have a couple of significant injuries to key players, if Brian Flores is just is this good as a coach as a lot of Dolphins fans were making him out to be before the season started, then I feel like he should still have more than one win. You get what I'm saying? Like he should at least have at least two wins or three wins right now if he's so good of a coach like everybody said that he was. And so far, you know, hasn't really looked like that. Time management has also been an issue. Like, there has been a lot of questionable decisions when it comes to his coaching staff. You look at the general manager for Miami. I mean, he hasn't really done a great job drafting. Like, I can't remember the last time the current GM for Miami has hit on a draft pick. You know... Like Tua, I still think Tua has a lot of potential. I still think that Tua is a solid quarterback. And I also think that Tua has definitely improved a lot this season compared to what he was last year. And we're definitely going to see more of that as we progress throughout the season. I feel like he had a really good game against Jacksonville. I know he had a couple of underwhelming performances. But overall, I think Tua definitely, I wouldn't put all the blame on Tua. But I definitely feel like Brian Flores has dramatically disappointed this season in terms of the job that he's done coaching this Miami team because this Miami team was supposed to be really good this year and I was telling people I had questions about the linebackers I've had questions about the offensive line and everybody was trying to tell me man JT the offensive line is going to be improved this year offensive line doesn't really look all that great they can't run the football that's another issue that Miami has they have the worst rushing attack in the NFL right now they're only averaging 71.5 five rushing yards per game which is dead last right now it's not good I'm kind of disappointed because I thought that this was going to be a breakout season for Miles Gaskins has really gotten the carries hasn't really gotten the touches I don't know what it is maybe the offensive line just isn't good when it comes to run blocking and open up running lanes for these running backs but if Miami is going to turn their season around they have to do it fast and they have to do it quickly and when you look at Brian Flores now you want to know what's funny it's funny how so many people are now quick to switch on Brian Flores because before the season, everybody was saying, oh, yeah, he's a top 10 coach. Now I see Dolphins fans saying that they want a new head coach. They feel like Brian Flores should be fired. And you know what Brian Flores reminds me a lot of? He reminds me a lot of Romeo Cornell. You guys remember Ro Romeo Cornell, who used to be the former head coach for the Kansas City Chiefs. I believe he was the interim head coach for the Houston Texans last season. He also was the head coach of the Cleveland Browns like back in the late 2000s. I believe there was one season 
that Romo Cano had with the Cleveland Browns that in his third year of Cleveland, he won 10 games, right? And everybody was really high on Romeo Cano. The couple of seasons prior, everybody was like, you know, Romeo Cano is going to be a really good coach because he's winning games with a Cleveland roster that really should only be winning zero or one game or maybe two games. So a lot of people were really high on him. He had that big 10 win season. And then after that, he crashed and burned right back down to out of Cleveland, going to Kansas City, and his stand in Kansas City didn't really last long. So when I look at Brian Flores, I see a lot of similarities to Romeo Cornell. There were a lot of people praising Brian Flores for what he did his first season in Miami with a team that supposedly wasn't supposed to win a game, and he was able to salvage and make the most out of it with a not-so-talented roster. This was a well-coached team. They didn't really get, you know, dismantled by a lot of football teams. They were competitive. They had a big upset late in the year against New England. This team fought. Last year, this team came really close to making it into the playoffs and this year this team has really not delivered and you can say well Tua hasn't played but Jacoby Brissett is probably one of the better backup quarterbacks in the league there are a couple of games that Miami could have won with Jacoby Brissett at quarterback in my opinion there were if there were better adjustments made if they were able to get the run game going that could also help them out and if the pass blocking improved if the whole entire offensive line as a unit improved and I understand you have some injuries to some of your best players on defense but at the end of the day great coaches are able to win without some of their best players that's what you have to be able to do in this league you can't say somebody's a great coach if you don't know how to strategize because football is more than just a physical game when you're trying to knock somebody's head off their shoulders this is a game that's all about strategy also it's about putting your players in the right position to succeed it's kind of like chess per se and right now Brian Flores right now he's getting his pawns taken out of the game because Miami is not delivering and I kind of wonder if Miami continues to struggle and they don't turn this thing around is there a possibility that we could see Miami just go ahead throw in a towel for the rest of the season try to get the number one overall pick and then maybe they draft another quarterback I don't know if they want to put it all on to a lot of people are saying let's just trade for Deshaun Watson Deshaun Watson isn't going to save Miami season okay because we don't even know if he's going to be able to play this year we don't even know if he's going to be able to play ever so for Miami, you have bigger problems outside of Deshaun Watson that you should be worried about right now. Like maybe you should try to trade for another offensive lineman, a really high caliber offensive lineman. Because everybody thinks that just because you have a great quarterback that you're going to win games. You can have a great quarterback and still lose a lot of football games if you don't have the great coaching. And so far this season... The coaching from Brian Flores and his staff has been less than luckluster. And that's just me being nice because there's a three-letter word that I want to use to describe how the coaching has been for Miami. But I'm going to keep it PG. But yeah, man, what's wrong with the Miami Dolphins? Coaching isn't really great. Brian Flores, a lot of people were higher on him than what they should be. You know, I didn't view Brian Flores as a top 10, top 15 coach. There were people before the season who were trying to sell me on it. I said, I got to see it, man. Haven't really seen it. And now Miami Dolphins fans are now starting to get annoyed because this is the year that Miami was supposed to put everything together. And I understand that Tua got injured. But at the end of the day, some of the best coaches in the NFL are able to win games with their backup quarterbacks. Mike Tomlin, for God's sake, went 8-8 eight and eight with freaking Mason Rudolph and Devlin Doug Hodges. No excuses. You get what I'm saying? So for Miami... Coaching has been there. The offensive line isn't great. They can't run the football. And Brian Flores isn't as good as a coach as what a lot of Dolphins fans thought they were, thought he was before the season kicked off.